Okay, all right. Ultimate battle is back. What a time it is to be alive as an eSport fan. Your biggest eSports streaming platform in Ghana, in Africa, and beyond is back. We are back with a bang. I've missed Ultimate Battle so much, and I know the fans have also missed it. A lot of fans have been in our DMs. When are we going to come back? When are we going to come back? Well, the time is now. We're supposed to come back last week because of one or two problems from uh, ECG. We couldn't come back. But we are here now. Ultimate Battle is back. And what? Uh, there's no better way to come back than with that big, big battle between Corps and Big Ups. I know a lot of people have been anticipating this one between these two. Now, before we go ahead straight to the game, I've missed Ultimate Battle. I know you have. To let me know in the chat what you miss so much about Ultimate Battle. For me personally, the reason why I've missed Ultimate Battle is my interaction with the fans in the chat. My, uh, my chance for me to read uh, messages out there and then you guys letting me know how you feel about the game. You guys letting me know you are enjoying the game. That is what I've missed most about Ultimate Battle. And this time around, we're about to optimize that experience. It's getting bigger. It's getting better on Ultimate Battle. This time around, you can... You not only chat in uh, the YouTube comment section, you can speak to me directly via a phone call. So ultimate battle, bigger and better. This time we'll be starting today uh, when, when we go for that break. When we come back, you can speak to me directly. Share your thoughts about the game, what you think uh, players can do differently, what you feel about FC24, and a whole lot more. Ultimate battle just got better, and you do not want to miss this one. If it's your first time, Kindly subscribe to the channel. Keep us a post notification. You do not want to miss any time we go live. My name is Slimo, and I'm honored to be your host once again for this excellent incoming new season. SC24 is here, and so is Ultimate Battle. Big Ups is ready. Cubs is ready. We'll take our first break of the season, and we are back to get straight into the action. Ultimate Battle returns. Right, and so it begins. I'm super excited for this new season. Let me know in the chat what you missed about Ultimate Battle. It's been a lengthy break for us, but we are back going very, very strong. And what better way to start with these two guys? Two really strong um, EA Sports FC Pro players 
in the country, in the country, I mean Ghana, at this point in time. Because of Ruth Esports last year, we didn't see too much of him, but this year he started off with a bang, going very, very strong. And his first two weekend leagues, he's been the first Ghanaian pro to make rank one in the whole of the country. How crazy is that? It tells you this guy, he's ready for FC24. And for Big Ups also being one of the few players to also make rank three and above weekend league this year. Players who have performed well on the, uh, the African pro ladder, so hopefully they also do well in the November ladder. So it is two heavyweights going against each other, and you don't want to miss this one. Share the link so others can join in the fun as well. If you didn't catch my name earlier, if you are new to Ultimate Battle, my name is Slamo, your host and caster for this season's Ultimate Battle, and I'm so honored to bring to you this one, because this season, it promises to be epic. Remember our new feature coming this season, the ability to connect with us in the chat just got better. You have a chance to call uh, and then speak to me directly, share your thoughts about the game, tell me uh, uh, battles you want to see, and then hopefully Ultimate Battle can make that happen for you. The number will be on the screen to, uh, be, uh, as and when the game starts, but we'll be heading straight into that game very, very shortly. Now, predictions will start soon, but you know how we do our Ultimate Battle. First game will give you a chance to kind of watch what is going on, uh, kind of have a feel of these two guys and then hopefully you're able to predict well and also walk away with something we started that uh, last two seasons and it's been going very very strong for as the game will start very very soon but remember big up from play province one of the best players last year for sure if you've got a top five Ghanaian players last year and you didn't have big ups in that list then you're probably hitting on him or something because he was phenomenal last year definitely winning Three plus tournaments is not an easy one in this competitive eSports FC scene in the country. Now, I said earlier, last two years, cause was excellent, but last year, FIFA 23, I feel like we missed out on the Ruth eSports man, and this year he's back on, um, he's, he's back with the bang actually, starting off uh, the new season very, very strong. We'll be heading straight into that game, that game where I feel like. The rivalry has been brewing a bit, has been brewing and brewing, kind of uh, a little bit of chatter here and there. Now with the new game, FC24, being released, our first time for it, being an ultimate battle, we want to look out for the new features. Let me know in the chat, have you been playing FC24? What are your thoughts about the new game? What do you feel like is the new meta? And we having two pros going head to head. We can definitely find out how the game feels, and I'm super excited for this big one as we are about to start a big ups versus Cubs of Root Esports FC 24's first ever time on Ultimate Battle, and we are ready to go. So, the rules for this year has kind of changed a bit for Ultimate Battle. We've allowed players to be able to use full loan sets. So, if you've got a team full of loan players, we, we grant you the chance to be able to use them. And that's why you've seen Cubs, the likes of Eusebio and Co up front. He's got quite a very strong team. It's no, it's no surprise that he actually makes rank one and we can lead. So yeah, ultimate battle is back, is bigger and better. The ways in which we can interact has gotten better. Um, the ways in which we bring to you the streams has also gotten better. I've already seen a uh, gamers guy saying defending is work on FC24. Hey. <laughs> The uh, players already facing big problems on FC24. I didn't quite face some myself because um, you could you could say that because of the dribbling, defending is quite difficult. But if you probably adjust to the game and maybe watch a lot of these pros, you can learn one or two things from them. And I've seen a lot of people uh, hit me up saying, "When is Ultimate Battle coming back?" Because they want to see how the pros play the new game, and surely we will get to see how big ups and cops also do in this competitive fixture. As well, so yeah, defending, defending. Hmm. Surely a big topic. We'll see how these two guys do. I've seen a lot of games with huge score lines. In fact, the FC played that for last month. A lot of huge score lines in there. So it's no surprise that Gamers Guide said defending is quite difficult on FC24. But I will get a chance to see these two guys go at it. So we're having a look at Big Ups' team, which is looking very, very juicy. He's got Vinicius up top with. Uh, Thierry and me and Neymar, what a juicy front three that is. This year, you know you want pace, power, and the most important thing I feel like on FC24 is dribbling. What do you think is the new meta in FC24? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. We just recently uh, also witnessed Big Ups packing one of the best new items in the game as well. Uh, Yaya Toure in the squad, so a very strong squad. Yaya Toure, uh, Frankie Young, we've seen the icon Ronaldinho and 
with the emphasis on dribbling. Uh, the leg, uh, the, the control sprint, actually making dribbling so, so easy this year and making defending so difficult. If you brought dribblers in your team, yeah, 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 you set yourself up for, for a very strong game. And if you've not brought dribblers in your team, then I don't know how you want to play the game. Maybe you don't take the dribbling approach, but this year, the dribbling approach seeming, uh, seeming to be working very, very well. So he's got Ronaldinho up there, he's got uh, Neymar also up there, and Vinicius Jr. Three Brazilians, the summer boys, of course, to do damage with the dribbling. Um, it's been a very difficult time for me off the camera with all three, but I've missed this quite a, quite a lot. I've missed the competitive games, I've missed uh, you guys, all the banter in the chat, I've missed the predictions as well. It kept us really good and all three, but uh, we really do appreciate every single thing our fans do and uh, we hope you guys keep supporting ultimate battle will definitely coming bigger and better this year make sure you already like the stream kindly subscribe to the channel kindly share the link as well so others join in the fun uh, we are across all social media platforms on on uh, x formerly twitter at follow at follow alt battle on Instagram at Ultimate Battle, and uh, we've created a TikTok account too. Uh, and uh, Ultimate Battle will also be sharing all of our content there as well. Facebook will be on there as well, and of course, our main streaming platform, YouTube. But it seems that the players are ready now. Big up soft play province coming up against Cubs of Root Esports, and because it is new, we haven't seen a lot of uh, tournaments with where these players are played that we haven't had tangible evidence to kind of assess who, who is kindly dominating. Maybe at the evening music festival where we saw Parker Root Esports dominate. Maybe a teammate here today, Cubs, can also do the same. So, yeah, we'll see how that pans out. But the game promises to be very, very interesting as we have kick off we have kicked off an ultimate battle is live make sure you subscribe to the channel already can you share the link out if you are if you've been enjoying our uh, ultimate battle has been bringing to you and this season we promise to even go harder so uh, big ups in the all green kits kicking from left to right as clubs rocking the Ghanaian kits uh trying to show a little bit of patriotism there in the all white kit for uh, his team as well. So Cubs, also with a very strong team, Alexia Patelas, one player I think a lot of players would like to have their hands on because of course, five-star skill move, five-star with is, is so strong. Now, with the new features and ultimate team this year, the ability to use female players and male players in one team has kind of changed the dynamic a bit. And you kind of see new players in the scene and it seems like these two guys have really had the blend of kind of using the females and the males uh, together in one team. So we've already seen Cubs kind of blend uh, Alexia Potelas in that midfield of uh, the likes of uh, the young also, I'd say also the young for him and also Ronaldinho in that lineup. Salah, speaking of Cubs, here it comes uh, here it comes with that first attack, but stopped abruptly by big ups. Vinicius Jr. The step over, uh, which was a move which was very debatable at the start of the game. Uh, before the release of the game, people kept saying, we will, will we see another game which will be dominated by step overs? Will step overs be the new meta? And I feel like it might not be as deadly as it was, but it's still very effective as Cubs trying to get that first shot of target and he does kind of testing uh Peter Schmeichel in goal for big ups. Risky pass from big ups are able to uh, manage to wiggle away from that one company. The recently added hero item to FC24 and it's already very KD, very cautious from these two guys cops uh taking that first risk of the game and almost awarded the Neymar. The Magidi Spain Castle to find out. Yeah, yeah, to with the big ups over the years. We've seen him to be one of the most patient players. Um, I've watched him a lot of times, and he feels like one of the most patient players. He's going to let the offense come to him. He's going to let the game come to him. So he's not going to rush into anything. So it's, uh, it's not surprising that he started quite slow. The game usually does come to the play province champion. And uh, for Cubs, surely one of the most explosive players in the scene. So contracting play styles, we'll see how they match up against each other in this one. You see me? For engine, another player to look at in that midfield. I haven't quite seen in a lot of teams, so surely we could see one or two gems in there. Remember what we used to do uh, last year, where we could pinpoint players where uh, they were popular within the, the the FC. In fact, the ultimate team scene. Uh, one player already spotted the engine. We'll see how she does 
in uh, Cubs' team. Ronaldinho, blessing for a Cubs. Trying to uh, find that first goal of the game. That's taking us 22 minutes. Wow. The ball went to the Trevella. In green time, they were Schmeichel able to grab that weight both hands. So we're kind of seeing the passing from FIFA 23 kind of coming back. And I see 24, the ball went to the Trevella. I uh, see it to be deadly as well. And I'm you. Cubs with the first big chance of the game. Well, I go to I go in the whole people, you see no suits, but Schmeichel is there to keep uh big ups back in this game. It has been cause putting on the pressure from minutes one. Big ups very slow and steady to start this game. But uh, the rookie sports man started more strongly, and you can't tell why he is uh, one of the best players in the country at this moment. Someone who has made consecutive uh uh, Van Kwan on weekend, he surely he is, he is one of the best players in the country, and he's kind of showcasing why he, he started as one of the best players in the country as well. De Jong, sent off that round to Vinicius, and the player look, another feature I'd like us to take a very critical look at the player look, which could be very deadly, and big ups, we could see him utilize this one. Now that by like, kind of my has been cancelled, but the defense, of course, Given that, are you sure defending as well? Because I've seen two really good defensive stances from both of these guys. They defended quite well. So I think that's maybe a little bit shaky. You see Cubs create a, a very, very good chances. But for, for Cubs, I must say, the defending at that point in time was very, very crucial. And we know how deadly um, cutting back the ball is on FC24. Salah winning the ball higher the field for Cubs. The dribbling, very exquisite. From the Ruti sportsman holding on to the ball as we go about 10 minutes to go in what has been uh, kind of a one sided first half with the score line still unchanged. No one has scored yet, but it has been Cubs who have been putting the pressure on. Big ups. Now with Neymar, finds Roberto Carlos. Now, speaking of formations and tactics, it seems like we are revisiting formations that did work in SC24. That 14 2 1 formation, which was quite popular at the end of the game, has kind of been God's back. And I've seen a lot of players utilize that formation. It's like big ups. The striker is looking like that formation once again. And I will see how that pans out for him. Yeah, yeah, too. They press so highly there. And uh, pressing another feature we can't speak about now. With the game being new, everybody's kind of learning what works and what doesn't work. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe one or two mistakes here and there, but these guys have been at it for a month now, and surely uh, the reason why they are pros is they definitely learn the game quick. So we'll see how they, they, they'll be able to uh, strike under the pressure of ultimate battle. Potellas, down that right again for Cubs, trying to recycle. The OT sportsman, with the way he's trying to kind of build in the offense, he can't go quick, it can't go slow at times, and uh, you see him change that so many times. Roberto Carlos able to. Twist and turn away from his man. But that's in a dangerous area. Cut him back into the same you. The ball is still in a very dangerous area as we end our first half in entertaining fashion. Cubs unable to break down that defense, but he's created loads and loads of chances as the first half of the game comes to an end in a stalemate. What a tough one that was. Well, Ultimate battle is well and surely back. If you wanted a lot of goals within the start of the game, well, I'm sorry. I like to see the tactical aspect as well. I like to see KG games so where the defenses are on top. Maybe Big Apps' defense wasn't on top because uh, he let in too many chances. But for Cubs, kudos to him. He's really kept uh, Big Apps kind of quiet in the first half. We'll see how Big Apps can counter that in the second half. Now, speaking of the formation that I was talking about earlier on, this formation that's kind of seen on your screens is. Probably the most famous formation now, FIFA 23 and the start of FC 24. I've been in a lot of rival games, a lot of champs games, and it seems like a lot of people still like that 4 v 2 one formation. Let me know in the chat what you think the best formation is as well. Now remember, after the break, when we come back, you have a chance to speak to me live. I will have a chance to interact with you live via a call. So before uh, before the break, we'll put the numbers on your screens, and then when we are back from the break, we'll be able to speak and interact about how you've seen the game, what you think ultimately battle can do better. If you've got any suggestions for us, if you've got any questions for us, we'll be able to interact there as well. And so it's getting bigger and better with the way we want to interact with the fans as we await uh, Big Apps and Cubs to get going with the second half.
or reading reading some of your comments, uh, it makes things a bit interesting. The one that I believe to be by Kobe says the game is trash. Hey, Kobe. Right, the game is far for you, man. He says it a lot. <laughs> interesting. Game of the guy that Ben says, or oh, do me, I don't know the fan. Charlie, when you see these guys play, sometimes you feel like you don't know how to defend because our uh, understanding has been top notch with the first half we've seen. The 4 people to formation isn't bad. We are a very strong formation as well. I feel like you having those two key attackers can make all the difference. Or maybe you might be capitalized in this field where you don't have the numbers like the 4 2 3 1 formation. So I will see uh, if that 4 triple 2 formation is also good. Superfly D also says that dribbling has been buffed. It has been buffed up, I must say. This year, controlled sprint and holding down that L1, that L1 button. It makes you feel like, you know, messy every single time. And uh, both of these guys also know how to really dribble the ball. We saw Cubs quite do that with Alexia Potellas in that first half. They got trying to put him on the press there. Speaking of pressing, uh, a week ago, I was at uh, the e Drake Music Festival, the Team Empire. That tournament with saw Parker VT Sports lift the trophy as the FC24 champion. I had a chance to speak to him, and he said the X factor for him was his pressing. So it feels like SC24 this year, that's it could really be a very key factor in how you can win games. And so far, we've seen the guys kind of put on a light press that are not really troubling uh, Cubs in the early minutes of the game. Company. Roberto Carlos. For the guys who still very patient with the way he lost the way. Now look at that defensive partnership. Benjamin Van Dyke this year. I kind of hate him in terms of rival games. It feels like every time he's around, and he throws a leg out, he always wins the ball. And it's so difficult to beat him. Neymar, still striking there. They got surely win the third goal of the day. To read the Van Dyke company switching the play to uh, Roberto Carlos, just can't find uh, the team that he was looking for, but that's and a corner now. Switching of play, in fact, the long ball to find uh, the opposite man on, on the other flank is so so crucial. And uh, we, uh, we might see how delicate it is in this game as well. De Jong, four cups. Who's kind of slowed down a bit in, in the second half, but there's still a lot of time to go on. Also, but remember, the rules haven't changed. It's still best of five. It's still best of five as we will be determining who is our first champion of season four. Who will be our first champion? Is it going to be big ups or is it going to be calls? Let me know what you think in the chat. The call lines will be open soon, and you can also share your thoughts with me on there as well. Vinicius Jr. for big ups. Trying to recycle the ball but uh, the pressure from cops so far very strong uh after going a go down it feels like he, he wants to get back into the game and he's still putting on the press there he save you winning the more high at the bill for it engine hakimi looking to uh hold on to the ball and find viable options but has to recycle with the way uh big House's defense has been compact so far roberto carlos 10th and switches up the play to find out Hakimi, who's kind of had that touch line down that right, but I just couldn't find a good pass. And Big was able to capitalize. Well, another misplaced pass from the play province man. And it could be in danger here. Hakimi with a great run for Patelas. Very good pass into the middle there, finding you save you. And he was trying to find the extra pass where surely would have found a Brazilian and maybe Vegas would have had uh would have had a short ad go. But it's getting 
And she's getting warmed up a bit. You can feel the energy now getting to both of these players as we are heading into the last 15 minutes of the game. Vinicius trying to throw down into Ronaldinho as big ups. He wants to kind of add to his lead and make things a little bit more secure. But a poor offside come there for big ups. Gives course a very huge opportunity to equalize. As in that. As simple as that. The offside cap kind of uh, shooting himself in the foot there, big ups. And Cross grabbed the opportunity with both hands, equalizing. And our first game of the day, I said earlier that there are going to be mistakes because the game is still quite fresh in the minds. We don't know what works and what doesn't work. And poor timing of the outside trap there for big ups. As Cross able to grab the opportunity and convert with the whole uh, goal gaping. Big ups. Was comfortable at that point. And it felt needless to kind of uh, try that offside trap. We saw the run from a uh, course where he kind of could get the player, but uh, Big Up just made it a little bit more easier for him to fight it with the through ball. So, uh, Taligamers, guys, maybe this is the point where we can say defending is quite difficult because he was trying to push the defense high up the field, but the timing just wasn't there. And then Cam Cubs build with this momentum that he's got and uh, take his first lead of the game. Hakimi down the right once again, trying to find that card that which has been so deadly in FC24 so far. But tell us, comes on the rising of Dino, great defending. Kyle Walker at the right place at the right time for big ups. That was crucial. It almost felt like it was left to that final move for Cops to get a shot away. And big ups read that so, so well. When well, Dino finds Neymar into Vinicius, your friends moving so quickly now for the play province man, Roberto Carlos. Has lots of space to work with, decides to get back into Ronaldinho. Stops there with a the vest elastico, but uh, Laurent Blanc in there. Now, he's also another player looking at the Frenchman who is in the SBC currently. We've got about 30 days to complete him. Uh, I was contemplating whether I should complete him. So, we coming here today, casting for ultimate battle. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him as well. Is he good enough to make my team? And we'll see uh, how he does in Cops' his team as well. Big, big save, Michael. Cubs with a huge opportunity to take the lead in the dying minutes of the game and will be heading straight into extra time. This is where we miss the ultimate battle. The drama, the intensity, the energy. I've loved every single minute of it. If you've loved what you've seen so far, give me some fire emojis in the chat. Kindly uh, like the stream if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and also uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If this is your first time here, this is what we do on Ultimate Battle. We are an eSports streaming platform. We literally do every game that is out there from SC24 to Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, NBA 2K. What you, whatever you want, we've got it for you. Ultimate Battle. And it has been a pleasure uh, so far. And now, going back to what we've seen in the game. You, you can kind of tell it's still fresh in their mind. It's still a new game. Players trying out new things. We saw Big Ups' mistake with uh, the, the poor timing of the offside cap there. We've seen him also utilize something that works in FC24, going down that byline and finding the cap back. So, yeah, it's still the learning process, but that is what we love to see on our team battle. These guys going at each other and uh, helping one another out because playing these competitive games surely does help. Um, then get to the, the levels that they want to get to. Hopefully, these games help with their pro ladder as well. So, of course, the guys on the pro ladder must see top, top pros. Uh, the, the pro ladder for last month, we saw the Moroccans and the, the Egyptians dominate. We saw x the Moroccan, placing first in the ladder. And that's bad from Egypt also placing second in the ladder. Hopefully, we're able to even get them on ultimate battle. But for this game, what a tight one it has been. Let me know in the chat who do you think is winning this one. Big Ups took the lead in the second half of the game. Cubs with a few minutes to go to end it. Able to grab the equalizer. And he could take his first lead of the game. And Adino Bolo finds the finish. Just like that, he's overturned it. The comeback complete now for the Root Esports man. Just that kick off into extra time. Maybe a lot of concentration there for the play province, man. As Cubs pouncing, pouncing and pouncing so, so hard. With uh, Ronaldinho bursting with pace into space. The ball roll always seems to work against goalkeepers. And this year, one feature I personally don't like on FC24 is how keepers react to 
borrows and short castles. It's just too easy to make them fall down. This time, he didn't fall down, but the borrow just found the perfect angle for Cubs to take the lead for the first time in this game. Can he keep this momentum to grabbing that first win of the series here, not to be about it. We know how crucial the first win is always. You've almost got an 80% chance of winning the whole series when you pick up the first game. But you do not have to slack even after you pick up that first win. And uh, hopefully, Cops is on his toes. And I know Vegas will be doing everything to throw him off his game. What a battle we've witnessed so far. And we've still got uh, the whole of the first half. First half of extra time to go. We've got the whole of the second half of extra time to go as well so there's a lot more coming if you enjoy what you're seeing can you share the link share the link so others can enjoy what we are enjoying as well ultimate battle is well and truly back course it was a garden momentum as and when the game has gone on with the first half. We saw him dominate possession. We saw him dominate in chance creation as well. And I kind of feel like he deserves this lead. Because in moments in the game, you feel like he has been the superior player. And Big House was kind of getting himself into the game. But just not quite there. After that, we kind of relaxed a bit. And it is the root esports one who has put on the pressure and deserve him with the lead. You see that change, uh, human song. One of the deadliest players in the game. Because shoot, we're either footer with this financial trait. He's just crazy. Rod, Roberto Carlos, finding a human son, the man we're speaking of a few seconds earlier. Can he do damage for Cubs on the attack now? Cubs, uh, with about two minutes to go in the first half of extra time, trying to kill it off, but the pass not the best, and Vegas can come away with it. Thierry Henry finds the PC Vinicius Jr. You see the rocket just come out at the top of his head. I'll be explaining what that means in the second game. So don't worry. Until we are here to help you. As well, can't big us. Finish the first half of the high. And just like that, grabs the equalizer. Back and forth. Here we go. Frankie be young in situations like this. You might not be the man you want in the box to grab the final shot. But he doesn't care. The Dutchman makes it 2-2. Two -two. For big ass as we just can't seem to separate both sides. The brilliant pass to have the shoulder on Van Dyke. How crucial was that? Virgil Van Dyke, as bulky as he was, his fellow countryman, the Dutchman, uh, thank you, the young in the right place at the right time, in front of him, with Cubs not being able to just get the nick of the ball as big ass able to equalize. Crazy, crazy game so far. And uh it's been good to watch. It has been definitely good to watch. We have missed this. We've missed this so, so much. Uh, Gamers Guide says again that uh, Finesse Playstyle Plus is OP. Now, that's what I was speaking about earlier. The introduction of Playstyles has been a game changer. If you've not kind of bought into the idea of using uh, players to suit your style and then they've got the Playstyles to kind of Suit your style, you really need to have to change how you are playing uh, FC24 this year. If you are kind of the, uh, the kind of guy who wants to always finesse, finesse, always look for the players with a finesse play style. As we've seen, Gamers Guy, they kind of get that tip in the chat. The finesse play style. I know Human Swan has it. He can finesse left foot, right foot, and he's so deadly in the game. But uh, some of these play styles, I'll be telling you about them as and when the game goes on. But it's 2 2 now. And we are in for the final 15 minutes of the game. Will we be heading to penalties? Will we see the drama of penalties in our first game back on Ultimate Battle Season 4? Well, we are here for all the action. Hakimi. Trying to uh, find Ronaldinho with that pass, but just can't. Uh, Cubs a bit stagnant with the, uh, the, the attack there now. Woeful. Returns it to Ronaldinho. Big ass on the attack. Just can't find it. A little bit more... Uh, Hastiness with a person, I should say. Now, a kind of, they are rushing the passes, and then the pressure is getting to them. They are just about 10 minutes to go, and you do not want to make any mistakes, but that is what pressure can do to you. And ultimate battle pressure definitely being on those guys. Now, remind that Big Dabs is already an ultimate battle season champion. I think our season two champion, a guy proved to the whole world that he was really up for it. But this is a definitely new game in a, def uh, in a different kind of ballpark. So you have to be very wary of what Cubs can do. And I think this first game has definitely proved that Obia and Obia, we're on a level ground, and so you've got to prove that you are champ indeed. 
cops on the attack once again. Reverse Elastico, could he find that? Uh, that space to just kind of bring that defense down. Lurking around the byline. Brilliant move. Find Sha. Can he turn around by Yaya to be able to grab the interception? That is why Bidon was so delighted when he parked this player. The hero item. Very good defensively. But high pressure for Cops. With the ball back. And surely now, you bring the game is lead. But well, another good defensive stance from another hero at the back. Uh, the recently added Vinter company at the back for Vegas. Proving to be very key. Wonderful. Blair Rank. Vegas with just a minute to go. And what has been a cracker of a game. This is what you love to see. And that is why we love our uh, esports and we love the whole competitiveness edge of brings. Company. Can't find Messi. And surely now in our first game back, we will be going to the lottery of the penalty shootout. It might not be the best of situations for the players, but we are fans. We do love it. We do love when they are under pressure and the nets go all the way. First up is Bigas. Finds the back of the net. Finds the back of the net. Ronaldinho smashing that. Can't come. Uh, Equalize this one. That score as well. The Portuguese. Uh, you see, we're going the other way around and able to find the back of the net. Yeah, yeah, two way. Also, the same Bigas converting two out of two for it. Ronaldinho. Looking to respond for calls. Hey! You would say for the former Manchester United legend. Big, big save for Big Asa. Can he capitalize? No, he can't. The long hands of Gonaruma keep him up. It's 2 1 now. Lauren Black draws level. Four comes. This is surely looking like he might have a sudden death. Messi can't find it. Cause missing once again. Well, sorry, Big Asa missing once again. Cause capitalizes and now leads for the first time in the penalty shootout. Could this be the defining penalty? If he misses this one, that closes the game. Rolfo, can't she find the back of the net? Big ups, can't find it. A corpse, is the winner for game one. Of our best of five series, yeah, ultimate battle. It's well and truly back. If you didn't miss this, then you don't love esports. That is what it's all about. Ultimate battle, bringing you the best of the game. What a game it has been. But uh, you know it's that point in time. We'll go for that break. But before we go for that break, the numbers will be shown on the screen. You can have a chance to speak to me directly. We can have a conversation about this game, about what you've loved about AC24, about what you think about Ultimate Battle, what you think we can do better, what you've loved about Ultimate Battle so far. And uh, it won't be shown on the screen. So we'll be going for that break. Ask Cubs able to grab the first victory of the day. Stay tuned. We'll go for that quick break. When we are back, game two on the horizon.
Alright, uh, welcome back from that quick break. And uh, what a game that was with us with next in game one. If you did enjoy what you saw, kindly smash that like button. Now we spoke of the new feature coming to Ultimate Battle, the call in segment where you can speak to me directly about your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on SC24. Anything you want to ask me, I'll be able to also ask you some questions as well. The call number is pinned in the chat 050 706 I'll mention that again 050 70 Six six five seven eight. If you want to have a chance to speak with me about what you've seen so far, about what you've enjoyed about SC24, in fact, about what you enjoy about Ultimate Battle in general, you will have the chance to speak to me directly if you call that number. But what a brilliant game we just witnessed! Uh, big up taking the lead in the second half, Cops equalizing the next chapter. We thought that was going to be it after Cops took the lead. Then we saw Big Ups also, uh, kind of coming to the game, and it, it, it was crazy. So yeah, very strong game, and uh, we, we are ready to go now, and uh, very, very, very good game. Now, we'll be heading into game two, and what promises to be a crucial one. If Big Dabs goes down 0-2, it's, 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 it's not looking good at all. Um, I'm hearing there's a caller in, our first caller of the day. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Hello. Hey, this is Mila Mila. I did it that's right. Oh, the game, the, uh, the, the defender now be the issue, so we did it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I just feel Cops has the upper hand, yeah, because he's dominating the game, so this is uh, that is it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so, I think so. Yeah. With, the, with, the, with, the way, with the way he's... Oh, I'm going for two one in favor of cops.
uh, we are back with uh, the second game of the day. Now, we are sorry for that uh, technical glitch there, who we'll call it the sound going off for a bit, but uh, we've rectified the situation and we are heading straight into the second game of the day. Now, look top left of the screen. What does the team names read? Christ saves Ghana had. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> how are you going to feed in your team, Ghana had? I don't say the country had, but let's look at those two teams The Christ saves Ghana had. So, uh, Christ was saved Ghana because the country had, or what? <laughs> this boy is going to kill you. Charlie, Cubs versus Big Ups, game two. We are ready for the battle. Cubs taking game one at the death of the game with the penalty shootout, able to grab the victory and has put him in a pole position to actually grab the whole series. We've seen that pattern. In ultimate battle over Big Ups looking to start as strong as he can. There you go, come back finding Ronaldinho, but the defense able to stop that one as well. I've commended Cobb's defense throughout the whole of the first game, and he seems to be following in the same suit in the second game as well. A brilliant transitional play from Big Ups in the final third, almost grabbing that first goal of the game. Now, we spoke about how crucial play styles were this year. If you ask me personally what the meta is, I'll tell you one thing, dribbling. Maybe it's pressing for somebody, but me, for me it's dribbling. Controlled sprint feels like you are, you are using Messi every single time. And if you are using Messi, which I know Big Ups has got Messi, but it's kindly on his bench, and maybe we'll see him later in the stages of the game. Once he starts dribbling, you see the yellow icon, the dribbling traits he's got, and he's quite excellent. I've seen the trick start uh, trait as well on the likes of Angel Dima, Yadeva, St. Maximum. They've got that trick start trait, which makes them so difficult to defend against. And I'm dribbling this year. You surely want to check it out. He's got Ronaldinho in the team. So, Big Ab surely will be able to have the chance to wiggle his way in tight situations. We'll see how he's be, he'll be able to utilize that trait in his team. Ronaldinho, one of the players, the, 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 the dribblers in the team I was speaking of, Cubs. Where there's a fair attack of this ga the game, as we saw Big Ab starting as strong as he could earlier on with that chance. But Jess couldn't find the back of the net, Hakimi. So it's an unchained lineup for both teams as well. Uh, Virgil van Dijk and Vincent Company, the back two partnership for Vegas, quite bulky, quite quick as well. Van Dijk, if you want to space, sometimes it doesn't look quick. But in situations like this, you need it. And it was nowhere to be found for Cubs as Big Ups. Has that what you did in game one? Take the first goal of the game as we've. Uh, Encounter uh, a small problem that we'll be looking for to rectify now. I was speaking of the partnership between uh, Company and Van Dyke. Van Dyke, personally, my favorite defender in the game. I've got him in my team, and when I face him uh, in other teams, I don't like it, even though I've got him. He's just so unpredictable with the way he wins tackle. Sometimes you feel like you've got the space to do uh, probably a skill move to dribble through around him, and he, all of a sudden he just grabs that ball. So sometimes, you just can't read what the defender does, and he's so bulky and frame as well. Air balls don't work against him, and corner kick situations. We must speak about how deadly corners this year on FC24. And when you've got Van Dyke in the middle, you surely have a chance of heading that into the back of the net. For Vincent Company, I've not had a chance to use him yet. I uh, will see uh, how he fares for big ups in his team. I didn't really catch a glimpse of him in that first game, but that is all to me battle is about. We can. Uh, peek into uh, these players' teams, see those hidden gems that we're looking for. We've already seen one player which is promising in Cubs' team, Engine, that a female midfielder in that team. We'll see if uh, she's good enough to also make our team. I think it's an objective where um, an SVC will check it out later and then confirm that one for you. But interesting stuff with FC24. Let me know in the chat what your favorite feature, new feature in FC24 has been, whether it is women in ultimate team, whether it is play styles, whether it is, uh, the fact, the change of name from FIFA to EA Sports FC, what is exciting you this year? And um, or if, it, if it's the new service that has, has come to Africa and kind of taking things to a new level, and we hope that these players are able to embrace the server and, and kind of live up to the expectations that we all have for them. So what, what have you been enjoying in the game so far? Remember, you can call in and have a chat with me as uh, Mela did just a few minutes ago. You can have the conversation about what the game you are you're enjoying, about FC24, about uh, ultimate, but in fact, about esports in general and, and how it's going for you, uh, what you're enjoying so far by via that number in the pinned chat, just like Mela did a few minutes ago. Now, the predictions, the, pre the prediction lines will well and soon be open. 
So uh, keep keep tabs on the game, and then uh, we we know that surely guys want to see who wants to win this one. I, I saw I listened to Miller earlier when he's got Cubs. I kind of feel like with the game coming fresh and with what we've seen, the small sample size we've had, if someone makes good results in weekend league, will classify that player as a very very good player, and you've, you've got to give the accolades the accolades to Cubs as well. He started weekend league as strongly as he can, making the first two uh, rank once in the first two weeks. How crazy is that? The first ever Ghanaian player to make rank one. That that is quite impressive. He's quite shown it here today in game one against the play province man, uh, taking that victory and kind of setting himself apart from 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 bigger and we know the pattern we're all talking about. So once you pick up game one, you've got the momentum, you've got the groove and you have a chance to kind of win the whole thing. Now we're trying to uh, kind of work our way around the situation and surely we will come back with this one. But we'll go for uh, what is what we term as the, the, the crucial game two, the, the, the important game two. I've seen what game twos can do with ultimate battle. Sometimes you feel like, okay, I've, I've won game one, game two. Once I just pick up the pace a bit, I, I grab the two wins, and then I'll, I'll be on the road to winning. But sometimes it just doesn't happen for you. For Cubs, you've won game one. But Vegas can surely come back in game two. So game two, I feel like one of the most crucial points in in, 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 in the game as well. So surely we'll see how that pans out. So we'll definitely continue from where we left off with Vegas currently leading by a lone goal to zero. That is the beauty of using the competitive mode. You can input the scores and then continue from where you left off. Roberto Carlos in that midfield. And Jen, the, uh, the female I spoke of earlier in that midfield for Cubs. We are keeping tabs on her. Hopefully she's good enough to make our teams as well. Roberto Carlos. Cops uh, finding uh, trying to find a way to respond in what I've been a slow start from by just 12 minutes gone. The savior, brilliant step in there. Uh, Vincent Colpini now, give us guys spoke of how difficult defending was, and maybe it is attributed to the new system of defending the uh, PA has brought. We've got our, our very own uh, tactical defending, of course, it has been there for quite a long time now, but there's a new feature added to defending, advanced defending, which is quite confusing for me as well. I'd like to know what these guys are using. Let me know in the chat what, what, what you prefer. Do you stick to your old tactical defending and you don't want to change that? Big chance for you save you unable to convert. Cops piling on the pressure now. Can you find the equalizer? Patel has been turned that one. Was another well-timed block from Van Dyke. Cops wrapping it up looking to... Uh, Get back into the game as we saw he did in uh, game one. Well, that was good. Now, I was speaking of how different uh, advanced defending is from tactical defending. Let me know in the chat what you think about the, the new styles of defending in brought Outside uh, the box, trying to finish short trade with Ronaldinho there. Well saved by Takash Michael. Big ups now on the edge of the seat, surely, with the uh, course putting on the pressure. Potas finds Ronaldinho. Very good move. That is what a kick Sass treats does, and he cancelled the power shot. That was a brilliant sequence from Cubs. If you had wanted to find a goal there, surely contender for goal of the series there, Cubs, um, enjoying the game. Now, in as much as you want to win, in as much as you're under pressure, you have to enjoy the game, and I feel like Cubs is duly enjoying the game. Van Dyke winning the tackle uh, once again. You see, he's been that feature in both of the sides. Both of the guys have got him. It tells you how good that defender is. He saved you. Cops uh, coming once again. Now, once he triggers those runs, it, it kind of brings you to thinking, is he going to give it to him? Is he going to uh, use that run as a decoy run? And it's so difficult to stop this year. Maybe two passes are not as good as they, was la they were last year, but uh, it seems like Cops Still has that in his locker in the danger area now. Fights Patel has extra pass. What a brilliant move. And wow. Just as he was about to get around the goalkeeper, Michael commits and Cops has a chance with a penalty to get the equalizer in the game. They save you. From 12 yards. Steps up with the kick. Scores. And practically as well. Put it where Big Ups could not get his hands onto that. As he's grabbed the leveler in the game, Cubs 
just as we were speaking about uh, 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 where he was enjoying the game, he showed us what he can do with those skill moves, and he, he nearly got past the goalkeeper. He was fouled, and then he was able to also convert from 12 yards. Blah. At the back, at the man I, I spoke of earlier, we were kind of monitoring uh, how, how good he was. The icon, quite slow for me, the pace maybe not up there. Walker, able to uh, win the ball back for big ups. Company searching the play for uh, Walker on on that on that right flank now because cutbacks are so difficult to stop this year I feel like fullbacks are so essential one of the best fullbacks in the game Kyle Walker be used by bigger than we also see we also see Aka Fakiri on the other end for clubs as well you want pacey fullbacks you want fullbacks who can defend but you also want attacks who can attackers who can fire. And when you've got this man up front, you've always got a chance to score. As Cogs has overturned it yet again. And it's a carbon copy of the first goal. Well, the first goal produced a penalty this time. He found the back of the net, going around the goalkeeper, and it is an unstoppable move for Cogs as he takes a 2 1 lead in game two. It's not looking good for the play province man at all. As uh, the Root Esports man. Putting on a show. Well, the, the play province route esports rivalry kind of died down a bit with um, roots kind of taking again to another level with Kennedy being arguably the best player last year. Arguably the best player last year. And he kind of took the, the ball game to a whole new level. A play province looking to respond in big fashion. It seems like they might have another killer on their hands, Roots Esports. Cubs taking. Uh, the lead as we head into the second half of this one. Engine finds uh, Poteas. For Comsey, I was always been like, the ways I want to score is get close to the goalkeeper, get as close to the goalkeeper as I can. We haven't seen any shots from outside the box. We saw that one uh, finesse shot from there. Well, speaking of shots, there is another one. Ronaldinho this time with the weaker for making the three goals to offer Cubs. As easy as you'd like. Pass it, pass it, pass it. No two ways about that. Salah able to find the open man in Ronaldinho. As Cubs makes it 3-1 now. Game getting out of hand for Big Ups. Looking increasingly difficult for him to get back into it. What a strong performance. From the root esports man, but there's still a lot of time to go. And what I've seen so far with SC34, you just can't judge by what you've seen in the first 15 minutes of a game. Hakim. Engine. Well, her, her name kind of uh, feels like engine, and she's been the engine of the midfield so far for Cubs, and she's been doing great, and uh, she's, she's getting me towards kind of completing that SBC or completing the objective. Big ups. Well, now it's a good chance there, but the ever present Virgil van Dijk, of course, who else? Virgil van Dijk at the right place, at the right time. He's quick, so he can he can go up against the quick uh, PC attackers, and we just saw when he did it. To go now, the new more people, one of the quickest attackers in the game, went two to two with him and able to grab that ball back. Virgil van Dijk is just a menace at the back, and Cubs has utilized his ability so so well. Hakimi, Cubs, find uh, Potteas, who's been absolutely phenomenal for the Ghanaian Cubs. 
uh, has been kind of, I would say, the way he's been attacking, it, it just kind of feels like the ways in which you want to stop him is going to be difficult because he wants to take players on. He wants to kind of dribble players. So we're dribbling being the meta this year, stopping him is so difficult and uh, Big Up's really struggling with it. Uh, Big Up's trying to find that over the top two ball to find Thierry and Nova Laurent Blanc absolutely incredible in the air. Able to win that back for Cubs. Puteas can't find Salah with the pass. And it's still three goals to one in favor of the Ruti Sports player who's got the advantage, who's holding on to the advantage and is looking increasingly like he might just grab another fourth goal of the game. Salah, best it through with pace. Can he find the finish this time around? Well, he didn't go around the goalkeeper. He decided to go for the finish shot. But uh, striker was equal to it. Schmeichel was indeed equal to it. And he's still giving big ups the hope and the, uh, the, the motivation that he can actually get back into this game. It's just a two-goal lead. We've got 20 minutes to go. And uh, surely the play performance fan will be thinking, if Cubs is not going to finish me off, then I can just let her run and grab an opportunity in the game. Just like that, the play comes into fruition. This time around, it is across from the far side. What are the new? Able to knock it down, and that's when the goalkeeper looked like he was passing upon it, a volley into the back of the net. That is the no most race in which you can score in SC24 big ups, utilizing every single one of them. We've spoken of how games can uh, change in minutes and seconds, and the whole game has changed. The dynamic of the whole game has changed. Cops now will be looking over his shoulder and be like, if I had just finished that chance. If I just scored with Salah there, the game would have probably been over. And we are back to uh, the, the game being uh, Cubs leading by just one goal. How crazy. That's what we love. Engine. Cubs will now be very wary with the way he plays as he loses the ball out to our big ups. Ronaldinho. Neymar. Great pass to find that Ronaldinho once again. Big ups. Oh, the attack. They go pass to five initials. Huge opportunity spread. Great move. And he just couldn't find the finish. The sequence of passing there absolutely spread that defense open. And Big Ups almost found a way to break him down. Or as he's looking at the replay of that time that well, we all want to see it. The pass from Ronaldinho to Vinicius kind of just opened the defense wide open. The pass was exquisite. But the finish... Nothing to write to him about. This was a clear opportunity for him to find the finish. And this is where uh, weak-footed players who don't have a high weak foot stats in the game uh, fail. And uh, Vinicius Jr., he's quick. He's uh, a dribbler. He's a finisher with his right foot, but with his left foot, not, not, not too good. And, and that's what we've seen there. He's not able to find the back of the net with that finish. Vinicius. Let's run up into Roberto Carlos. Big chance again. How many of these opportunities is Big Ups going to have to? He figures out that they are crucial opportunities and he has to find the back of the net or it's going to be all over for him. Well, this time we come from the midfield, my so that accurate from range. As the goalkeeper saves once again, Donnarumma has just been spectacular for Cubs, keeping him in the... Uh, Keeping him in the game, keeping him actually leading in the game. Oh, what a tough one. Tell you, we can't find it. Dinga, still in a very uh, promising position for Big Ups. De Jong takes the ball the other way around. It's Roberto Carlos. Surely now, great goalkeeper movement. This time around, we have to convey Cubs. He read that so, so well. And the defense, no looking too good. From the root esports man, he's been open up too easily. It feels like open up surgery now, carving his way to the defense, big ups, but just can't find the crucial shot uh, to find him that all important equalizer. What a game! And where we, where we said we enjoyed game one, game two has even been better, has even been more entertaining, has even been more dramatic. That is all to me, that is all about people. If you haven't uh, uh, subscribed to the channel, please do. What are you waiting for? You enjoy this every week, every Friday. You enjoy this action. Marquinhos. 
And surely I gave my brain time now for cuts. As just swinging the ball from one side to the other, from left to right. But that is what pressure can do for you. As big as wins the ball back, but the passing not the best. And Cubs able to win the ball back. Akili finds this man aside, the very rapid attacker. Cubs in an area he loves uh, to have the ball in, and he's holding on to the ball so well. Dribbling in uh, the best of positions as he, you have the lead, actually, now to seal it. Working around the goalkeeper, can't find it. A minute to go now for big ups. Just two minutes of added time for the play permits man to pull something out of the hat. Over the top two more to find out we but the pace. The pace of the PSG defender winning the ball back for Cubs. And surely now it is confirmed the Woods Esports man makes it two wins on the spin. What a game. How dramatic was that? Well, that is very, very intense. If you want to try to speak to me after the break, the call lines have been pinned in the chat. You can call in after the break and we'll have a chance to speak about what has been a very entertaining game. We'll go for that quick break. Game P will soon be on your screens. And uh, you have to stay tuned. Stay tuned and we'll be back after the break.
No, no, no. Move, 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 match. All right, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Ultimate Battle Game Three, about to start very shortly. We apologize for the long, unintended uh, break. There, we we're kind of facing some problems there, but we are back, bringing to you the much anticipated Game Three from Jazzy for all you see from the first two games. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. Uh, who do you think is winning this one? You know what? Funny enough. Coming into this game, it felt like it was going to be close, and it has been close with regards to the score lines. But Cubs has always been, has always had the edge over Vegas. Now, Cubs is also a debutant on Ultimate Battle, and last season, all the debutants were just incredible from the Kenyan players to the Nigerian players to the um, the Senegalese players. They're all incredible. So it, there's this thing with debutants and ultimate but to always having the edge over previous players who uh, over players who have had a previous success on ultimate battle now we know big has already been a champion on ultimate battle but the debutant calls from Woods esports has been incredible his 
His attacking patterns just feels like he's kind of understood the game and you quite understand why uh, people rate him so, so highly. People have him as probably the best in the country at the moment, of course, uh, finishing uh, rank one in weekend league for two out of the three uh, weeks so far. It's, it's quite impressive and you can clearly see with the way he's played. Now, for big ups, I don't think he's quite far from big ups and from Cubs. It has been close, close score line so far in the, in the third game. In the second game, it looked like it was getting away from him a bit. He turned on the pace and you could see he was gradually getting back into the game. And in those final moments, he almost punished Cubs. With three huge opportunities, not one, not two, three huge opportunities. And for that final chance, I must say, big goalkeeper movement from uh, Cubs for him to be able to prevent big ups from coming back into the game. So he's not far from Cubs. I just feel like his details, details... His inability to finish, we'll have to speak about it. The inability to finish is becoming a big problem for Big Ups in this game. He's wasted too many opportunities, I should put it. And Cops have just been as clinical as you'd like. Cops also had a huge opportunity to make a 4-1 and to probably kill the game. He couldn't find it, but it didn't hamper him. He still got the victory and he's two games up now. In this third game, it could be the game that decides if Cubs sweeps the series, are we going to see another sweep in uh, the first game of season four? Remember, season three, our first game, Dr. Dex also swept Guy Cubby, and we might see another same thing here. Let me know the fact if you think Cubs also grabs game three as we wait for them to uh, 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 rectify everything and then go into the game four game three but it promises to be very very exciting and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this one kindly smash that like button we are on instagram we are on uh on youtube of course where you are watching from we are on uh twitter as well uh, x formerly twitter at follow us but on instagram we are on ultimate battle and all we do is esports all we do is gaming and we do love what we do my name is slimo and i do love what i do esports casting uh hosting they are all just incredible things for me and what i do on ultimate battle it's just crazy and and i love every single moment that you guys give us in the chat from um you the banter from uh, giving us the tips like of course what game my guide just put in the chat about dribbling being op play styles it all just makes even the experience more fun but ultimate battle season four we promise to be Excellent. We promise to bring you the big, big battles that you love. You know the international battles will come. This one, we are starting locally, but no, uh, we are starting locally, but the international battles will come. Surely, and now with the pro that coming in, more of these boys are familiarizing themselves with other players on the African continent, and surely will bring that experience to Ultimate Battle 100%. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this first battle that we are bringing you, because the energy is up the roof. All the two games have just been incredible. Now, uh, for Big Ups, it's a do-or-die game. It's a must-win game. It's a game where he cannot afford to be making mistakes like he did in games one and two. He has to be as clinical as he's ever been. <laughs> he has ever been. So, yeah, let's see what the play province man has got for us. Or will it be the Roots Esports man to complete? Our first sweep of season four. Take a look at the team on change. He's got Black, Van Dyke, Roberto Carlos, and Hakimi making that back four. How impressive has that back four been? I uh, will see what they can do in the final, uh, in the third game for Cubs. Well, as we are underway, let me know what the predictions are going to be for this one. Is Cubs sweeping the series or is the play province man coming back from behind and giving him a round for his money? Two. Roberto Carlos for uh, Cubs. Now, the, the thing with Roberto Carlos is he's not the, the tallest of defenders. I think he's five, six, five, five. And sometimes the back post crosses can uh, get you in trouble because if, if you face the, the, the lengthy attackers, the very tall attackers at the back post, surely they are going to head over here. But he's so quick and he's got very good defensive stats which make a lot of these players want to go with him. And he, that is why he's featuring in, in both sides, both big ups and cups, trusting the, the icon Brazilian to be good enough to start in their teams. Laurent Blanc. 
speaking of another icon who is currently in the SVCs. You've got about 30 to 35 days to complete the French Defender. If he's impressed you enough and calls this team, you could also go in there and complete that SVC. Well, Salah almost turning that ball through to Frank Patel as Cubs. Uh, wanting to uh, make that through ball kind of uh, grab the first chance of the game. Young. Cubs. On the attack, but great defending uh, from Big Dogs trying to kind of anticipate where the pass will go. That is very good anticipation, but unfortunately, not able to win the ball back. Comes on the attack once again. Finds engine. Spreads the play uh, with Roberto Carlos, who's kind of hugged the sideline down there. It's always there in space. Well, the pass almost retake Potayas, but that's not going for Cubs. It could surely find the first goal of the game with this one. Well, tried that fake shot. But just wasn't good enough. Big ups still uh, with critical errors at this point in time. But on this occasion, wasn't punished. Loses the ball high up the field once again. Big ups under a lot of pressure from the Root Esports man now. As Cubs looking to seal the deal. Hakim. Once again, Roberto Carlos down the left. The switching of play looking to work. Looking like it's working for Cubs now. I said of. I spoke about how crucial it is to switch up play. Kind of opens up the field, and that is what it's doing to Bigas' defense. Opening it up, creating more spaces for Cubs to attack with, and he's been brilliant so far. Well, speaking of space, there is a little space that's Ronaldinho almost wriggling his way around that space and trying to find the open man. Now, Bigas has to cool things down. I'm sure he would surely like to kind of go back to his patient possession game stuff because it has been immense pressure from Cubs within the first 20 minutes. Finishes. Four big ups with his first meaningful uh, kind of strike forward in the game. And it could be even more dangerous than that. Oh, my way, what a finish. My goodness. Where did that come from? Was that a Trevella? Was that a Tim Shot? That was intense. FC24. Big ups play province. Incredible finish. My way, yo, yo, he caught almost everybody by surprise. <laughs> I know Cubs didn't expect that. Because I didn't even expect it. In, in those angles, probably he's looking for the cutback or he's looking for maybe a simple ball way to find the traveler. But it looked like a chip. It looked like a traveler. It looked like a combination of the two. What was that? Well, it's good enough to give him the lead as a playing province man in the most crucial game for him. I buy a goal to do. Can't Cubs respond. Walker, able to bully uh, Roberto Carlos on that battle there. Roberto Carlos, if you just joined us, remind that you're an ultimate battle. The number one eSports streaming platform in the whole of the country. And uh, we are back doing our thing. We are back bigger and better this time around. Vinicius, the player look from uh, uh, Big Arms there, but well defended. Crazy, crazy goal we just saw for Vegas. Actually, now it's contender for, for, for goal of the series. Okay, we see uh, Cubs kind of dribble goalkeepers, and it's all fun and that. But this goal, this goal is just crazy. Let's see uh, if he's able to build momentum with that goal and kind of uh, put Cubs under pressure. Vinicius for Big Ups looking to end the first half on a high. Roberto Carlos, though, reads that as Cubs comes away with it. Dion. The, the, the midfield trio of De Jong, Poteras, and Engine has just been spectacular. I'm, I'm speaking from uh, a speed standpoint. Now, when you've got speed in midfield, you're able to cover the tracks. You're able to kind of make the midfield area, which looks so big, so small. And with Poteras, he's got pace. With Engine, it seems like he's, he's got pace as well. With uh, uh, Frankie De Jong, of course covers the grass for you and for Cubs it has been incredible to watch how he's just utilized all these three and kind of uh mash them up together within that midfield space Ronaldinho we've got three minutes to go in what has been a very cagey first half and the deadlock being broken with an absolutely superb super finish from the gaps Poteas 10 Finds engine 
right on the edge of the 18 yard area cops try to work his magic into the danger area fight your savior van dyke shoulder to shoulder with him but just can't stop him ball around the goalkeeper becoming his trademark now always finding the seams into the defense I go to eyeball with the goalkeeper, not panicking at all. Goes round it, smashes that into the open net, and that was virtually the last kick of the first half. Incredible finish! Well, well, well. It is big ups one, Cobbs one, and it'd be two fantastic goals. Just look at how Cobbs kind of worked his way to, to break down the defense from the right it was our patience 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 found you see you and it kind of felt like uh van dyke in fact big ups was trying to use van dyke to kind of bully uh you see you to get him with that ball but that is what icons do and the portuguese icon was strong enough to hold on to the 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 attempt from van dyke and it was very good a very good goal to watch cops being able to get back into the game company winning the ball back for big ups Turi. Walker switching that up into a uh, Roberto Carlos. Now, uh, we were speaking of how these esports teams have kind of like groomed their players into professional players in the country. Now, take a look at last year's Root Esports roster the likes of uh, Cubs, the likes of Weissman, the likes of Kennedy, who's now joined Virtual Union. They were good, uh, Weissman and uh, uh, Kennedy were the two guys who were kind of putting with esports on the map now kennedy was kind of like the face of the team he's now left and now there's kind of that gap who is the number one player on the root esports team and it's just looking like su24 it might just be cops because what he's focusing here he surely has a chance to make himself the number one player on the root esports team for play province well last year the number one player definitely without a doubt is the man you're seeing right now Big ups, who was on an absolute tear and is looking to continue in the same fashion. The ball into the Carell, and this time, Donnarumma reads that able to save brilliantly for Cubs. Ronaldinho, Roberto Carlos over the top for Ronaldinho once again. But uh, big ups able to read that well now for play problems, as I was saying earlier last year. The franchise player kind of being uh, big ups who was winning the tournament, he was doing everything for them this year. We uh surely they like to see a lot more players going to that role. Probably maybe a pretty boy that was kind of taking the next step, being uh the, the more aggressive player, being the man who, who would win tournaments for, for, for the team. And I will see how that pans out. But not a great start for big ups with regards to ultimate battle. And well, hopefully that changes because it's not looking to make that an easy round for 60 minutes got. 16 minutes gone, go about 30 minutes to the time it. Well, uh, we call this one a sweep. De Young. Vinicius Jr. once again. Yeah, yeah, two enough. The two balls always seem to be working for big ups, no matter the FIFA. FIFA 23 was absolutely brilliant with the two balls. And in FC 24, he's brilliant with that. Speaking of two balls, there's that one to find out. Thierry Henry. Vinicius. Turn it. Henry. Big ups just kind of. Uh, mm, Playing mind games a bit. Uh, I turn here, you turn here. Looking for that space. Or oh, trying one from distance. We are at two with the Traveller. Just couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Salah. Go pass into Akibi with a lot of space to work with. This could be a huge opportunity for Cops as he's assessing the options. Well, seems like. Potas was the most valuable. The elastical creating that separation by the defender covering so so well. Big ups on the air just now. 20 minutes to go. Intense one in what you expect from a game which could define things. Potas from range clubs trying to cut out Schmeichel. But uh the icon goalkeeper has grabbed that with both hands, keeping it safe for big ups. Ronaldinho, big ups on the counter now. Has to be perfect from your ongoing. Neymar, bang down on goal. Ball on scoop. Into the reverse elastical. Van Dijk is there once again. But a penalty. A very controversial one like that. 
and vendors with a big opportunity to regain his lead. Now he had two less scores. He needed that one there, big ups. He really needed that one. And no matter how controversial that penalty was, uh, the play for it, man, he's only going to be smiling now with that goal. I personally felt Cubs got the ball with the tackle from Van Dyke, but it seems like the veteran referees uh, kind of didn't agree with me on that one. And uh, big ups with a crucial penalty to give him the lead. And what has been an entertaining game, an incredible game. These three games, I'm not sure you get to anywhere else. On ultimate battle only. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. What a crazy game there has been. Let's look at that tackle from Van Dyke. Well, well, well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What you think about uh, the penalty given. And uh, in situations like this, now we get a closer view of how the penalty went about. With the reverse elastical coming in. Van Dyke took the ball clearly. And it seems like it was Akka Fakini with a late tackle. Well, Cops will surely be fuming now. <laughs> Cops will definitely be fuming because he clearly got the ball with Van Dyke. I don't know if he pressed a uh, box on his controller with uh, the case of Akka Fakini, and that is why maybe he landed into the tackle. But uh, it's just incredible how they gave that as a penalty. We are back underway with 15 minutes to go. Big ups on the verge of grabbing his first win in the series. Comes on the verge of losing his first game in the series. And uh, he's got 15 minutes to do that, big ups. He's got 15 crucial minutes to do that. Well, if he finds another goal, well, surely now he's sealed it. For now, doing it for big ups. Very good football. Surely this is the chance to seal it. Terry Henry! More mind games going on this time. The goalkeeper stands tall. Cops under a lot of pressure from Big Ups, who's hoping to seal the victory now. Ronaldinho. Big Ups. With more step arrests in uh, promising positions. Another one. The ball. Finding the pass. Surely now. A taste of his own medicine there, Cops. Round the goalkeeper, smashing that into the empty net, and now for sure, the play province man will end this game with a victory. He's got just eight minutes to defend, and it's looking like time is on his side. What a game so far! And uh, you can say the controversial penalty has turned the tides into his favor, but he's going to take that all day long. Big ups. Now, surely, has grabbed his moments in the game. But every game from now on, you have to be playing on the edge, just like how he played this game. Be clinical, be aggressive in defense, showing that you wanted more than cops, and you have to do that from game four to game five. In fact, it has to be top, top notch uh, FC24 action now from him. Vinicius. I said on the kick, maybe Van Dyke with another tackle. And uh, another finish as Neymar makes it for Big Up sealing the victory, making it as secured as he can. The Samba boy makes it for and Big Up surely now has the first victory for himself on board, making the series 2 1. <laughs> well, the last time we saw a 2 1 series in Ultimate Battle, well, we'll check that out and uh, make that note here. We'll see how that went. Cops still with the, a, a, a game advantage over Big Ups, but it will get interesting in game four. And I can't wait for it to start. I know you can't wait too. And right after this one, we'll go for that quick break. And when we are back, we'll be able to get, you'll be able to speak to me with the call, the call uh, segment being introduced. The number has been pinned in the chat. The number has been pinned in the chat. So right after the break, kindly do get your calls and we'll have a chance to speak about how incredible Game 3 was, how you have been enjoying FC24 and other eSports topics at that as we're heading into the final stages of the game. Uh, big up sealing out the victory. And what has been an end-to-end -end one. Maybe Cubs attacking side reduced a bit. Maybe tactically Big up switch something. I don't know what happened. But Game 4 will be back on your screens. Remember, the call-in segment is here now. 
right after the break you can call in we'll have a chance to speak we'll take a quick break when we are back it's more action coming from the big house versus club scene All right, so welcome back from that quick and short break. Incredible scenes we saw in Game 3. Big Abs giving himself a chance in the series. Now, the call-in segment is here now. If you want to speak to me directly about what you've seen, what you've enjoyed so far, kindly call the number pinned in the chat. The time is now before we head into Game 4. Uh, get interactive also in the chat if that is where you want to express your views. I'll be reading some of the messages there as well. But if you want to speak to me, uh, tell me what you think of the game and what you think about SC24 in general. What you think about uh, your if I what your expectations are for Ultimate Battle Season 4, we can have a chat uh, via the calling segment, and the number has been pinned in the chat. Uh, the, the call number is actually 050 I take that again, 050 So that is the number if you want to call in and have a chat about what we've just witnessed. Because I must say, it has been brilliant. FC24, building up to the game, everybody was wondering what's going to work, what's not going to work. How's the game going to be like now that FIFA is not part of EA Sports FC anymore? I think we're going to change the dynamics of the game. It's quite similar in terms of maybe the holistic view of the game, but details have changed. The step over is not so deadly. Cutbacks now meta, dribbling now meta, and there's a lot coming in there. But uh, we are ready to go for the new uh, the, the game four, which we have been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, it seems like everybody's just on the edge of their seats now with the series now to one big ups kind of game gaining momentum or is cops going to stop that momentum is he going to cut that flow and one point in the game which i felt like was crucial very very crucial to who won the game was of course the penalty incident we have to uh go back to that topic i know maybe cause fans will not like to hear that but it just happened to the game in fact you they start against the they say EA Sports is in the game. <laughs> the glitches is in the game. The problems is in the game. The enjoyment is in the game. So we are here for all what is in the game. And we'll be going in the game for game four. Big, big moments as Big Ups grabs his first victory in game three. Can he continue on the same trend? Or is Big Ups or is Cubs going to end the series with and, uh, and, uh, and uh, another very good win in game four. We live to see, we are here to see, and we'll keep bringing you the action from Ultimate But If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Leave a like on the stream, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. A reminder we are on X formerly Twitter at Follow Odds Battle on Instagram at Ultimate Battle. Game four is here. Game four is here. Game four is here now. Big up this team name. Christ saves. I had some. I saw someone in the chat said, "Is Christ finally saving Big Ups?" Charlie, you go for a relax more for Big Ups. Here come the play points, man. Wow, that's the start he dreamed of. Just under three minutes, 
with a good opportunity to grab the first goal of the game. Just unlucky. Assyrian reader messing with it in the post. Wow. That was quick offense. As quick as you'd like as well. He wants to continue in the same way he ended uh, game four. Thierry Henry, well, this time uh, a little bit too, didn't time the run where I must say that the pass coming a little bit too late as it goes for offside. Cubs will surely now be thinking, what did I do wrongly in, in game three that just lost me the game? Because in games one and, and two, he was cruising. He was cruising, even though the, the scores were close. You could clearly say he was the dominant player. But in game three, we could not have that same conversation about Cubs. And he's going to go back to how he played in games one and two. Then it has to be now. Because if the series is tied, the pressure in game five will be intense. Big ups with the first chance of the game. Wow, almost uh, canceling that one with Vinicius. But the defense reading that so, so well. Ten minutes gone. And... You can tell the play this man is now hyped for this one. He wants to get back into the seas. And it's chance creation upon chance creation. And we are loving every bit of it. Big ups once again. Ronaldinho on the left. Uh, assessing the options. And finds Neymar. Ronaldinho on the best. Surely now with the cut back well. This time he went for a, kind of a low driven shot. But Donnarumma had to the task. Cops. We will have to uh, reduce the pressure that Vegas is putting on him. And he does that with switching the play with a brilliant switch of play as well. Finding Roberto Carlos, but the extra pass, uh, find the Brazilian making the run on Aldinho, not the best. Carlos. Vegas, surely now, with the first goal of the game. Well, well, well. That looked like the moment. What just happened there? We're commending him in game, game three for pulling something out of the hard work. With this opportunity, it looked like a damn deal. And kind of rubbed the ball over the goalkeeper in a very awkward manner. And when Aldino just they have the, the, the zeal to go and pick the ball up and smash it into what was an open there. And Big Ups uh, still doesn't have his goal. And he's not rewarded for all of the attacking he's been doing. With another shot on goal, Donnarumma palming that ball away. About five big opportunities for Vegas very early on in the game. Cubs, uh, well, has to be very wary of what the play province man is building here. And it's not looking good for Cubs, I must say. The defense that we, we have been praising in games one and two, well, scratch that has been thrown into the wind. It seems like both defenses have now been split wide open. Salah. Kakiri trying to press that and win the ball back there. But Cops unable to uh, break through. Hakimi. Black. Finds your better. Now that, that, that's more or less like the Cubs of old, the Cubs of game one and two. Switching the play, spreading the field, making big gaps, his defense look stretch, and finding the gaps with his skill move, his dribbling, able to face the defend, uh, the goalkeeper. One, what a finish! My win! This series has only produced two packets of goals. Where did that come from? Just like the seller. Which looked like a cross beating the goalkeeper from there. Wow. Things are in this game. What a goal. So she gets the ball from Patelas there. I don't know what's running through comes this man. Crossing to the back post or what, but that is a howler from the goalkeeper looking at it closely. And comes taking the lead. SC34. This day the game inside. And we'll enjoy every single moment of it on Ultimate Battle. Cops taking the lead in awkward fashion. And you take it as well. We saw Megas with an awkward goal. He took it. Cops. Can he also build momentum with a goal of his own and grab the victory? Crazy finish. 
Let me know what you think about uh, that finish there in the chat. I'll be reading a few of them. Abeni says, what a goal, game analyst. <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> game analyst, they house, they sleep. Game analyst, they house, they cook odds. Why you say game analyst today, this game is back? I beg. <laughs> Credit comes with this goal. Incredible finish. Dion, Jerry and me. Now, most like this can be derailing for opponents. Because it has the biggest who has been on the ascendancy. And uh, it just feels like it was... A moment that he wasn't expecting. Just like that, from a corner kick and, and, and boom, go. <laughs> Crazy. Can he pick himself up as quickly as he can and get himself back into the game? Or is Cubs going to run all over him? Well, we've got about seven minutes in the first half to find out. Salah holds on to the ball well. Cubs finds the open space with the young black kick. You save you. Cubs building on some very strong momentum here. Mohamed Salah weaving his way through the defense. Salah, one of those guys that are very good with defending, well, with attacking. Red time finish. And it's in the back of the net. We've seen two uh, interesting goals. That is the word to use. Very interesting. What, what it means is, what I'm about to say is, red time finishes usually, the goalkeeper saves them, or they're blasted somewhere else. But this time, Michael unable to get his hands onto the ball and comes making it two goals to zero and has put him in a very comfortable situation. A game which in the uh, in the first 30 minutes of the game looked like big ups had absolutely control of had absolute control of the game, had lots and lots of chances to take the lead. Didn't take them, and it's now Cubs who's got two two goals uh, uh, himself. Wow. That is the beauty of esports. That is the beauty of FC24. And that is the beauty of Ultimate Battle as well. The pressure can make you do stuff. And the first half comes to an end. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, if you have enjoyed that one, smash the like button if you have it already. Crazy game. Sometimes winning games, you need a little bit of luck. You need a little bit of things to go your way. Sometimes you might be playing a champs game in a rivals game, and you feel like this game you can't beat the guy, or you are, you are, you are good enough to beat the guy. But you, you keep hitting the post, you keep uh, getting blocked, you keep uh, missing chances. Something has to give. Something has to go your way. And I feel like that is what is happening for Cops. Look at that first goal. He was under a lot of pressure, and that goal relieves the pressure. Now, second goal, under a lot of pressure again from the defender, uh, from the defensive stand uh, uh, point of view, and he's able to shoot. Doesn't tell me well, but he's lucky enough to get the goal. And sometimes that is the edge you need over your opponent. And, uh, well, it might just be the edge you need to grab the series. Uh, Big House will be in a lot of trouble where if, if, if Cubs is able to grab the third goal in the second half of the fourth game. Ultimate battle is well and truly back. What we love is well and truly back. From the goals to the interesting goals to the very interesting series to the howlers from the goalkeeper to the enjoyment in the chat to everything we love about the game, the beautiful game, the esports game, the video games we all have. Ultimate battle is bringing them to you live and call it on our channel on YouTube at ultimatebattle.gg. Well, second half. Uh, about to go down with uh, big ups in a position he would not have loved. In a position in which, personally, I don't think he should have been in. Because if you critically look at how the, the first half went, in the starting of the first half, in the first probably like 25 to 30 minutes or 20 minutes, big ups was the controlling... Uh, player he was a dominant player he was the one creating all of those chances he was the one defending aggressively he was the one winning the ball high at the field but if you can't convert you are punished but not being your that is the response well took it first time and smashing that past the goalkeeper big ups working his way back into the game over the top two ball being hesitate at all and when you go and finish out like that up front 
You do not want to take too many touches. No nonsense finish from Ronaldinho as big ups. Cut it to the deficit. We are in for another banger. We are in for another banger. And I'm so glad this game was the first game of, of, of Ultimate Battle Season 4. It was supposed to be Game Analysis versus Wonder Kid, which also promised to be a cracker. I don't know if it, it, it would have played out like this. Maybe it would have been one-sided for uh, maybe Game Analyst or Wonder Kid. But this one has been closely contested. This one has been so fun to watch. And I'm glad this was the opener for Season 4. And then, we'll save you. Good move. Heel to heel. Surely now he's going to grab a step and make things a little bit more easier for him. Ronaldinho put himself in a, a very uh, compromising situation that makes things a little bit more difficult. De Jong gets the ball back for big ups. And he can now cool down with uh, Cubs, who was lacking in <laughs> dangerous areas. Now, things I've noticed with FC24 is, even when you win the ball back in your defensive set, it feels like you've not, you've not done everything you need to, go, to do to, to be safe. Because the defenders take heavy touches. Pressing works so, so well that when the defender takes the heavy touch and he presses just a little bit, you're in trouble. So, Big House had to be very wary of how he, he cleared that ball out of then I felt like he did that so, so well. Carlos. Van Dijk switching up uh, for Hakimi. Cobbs. Well, bad pass to trying to find Patella. So, bad pass, a good anticipation for big ups. Doing so well to kind of anticipate where the ball will be and being there at the right time. When I'll deem it. Into the heart of the defense! The equalizer is there. Frankie De Jong from midfield positions. Blessing through. Able to find the shot. Pass Donnarumma. And we're back on the test. What a roller coaster of a game it's been. It's just pass, pass, pass from big ups. No two ways about it. No um, extra fancy stuff. No uh, beating around the bush. Straight to the point with a shot on goal and able to equalize 2-2, 65 minutes gone. And now you can tell why this game is so important to both, to both uh, players. Cubs knows that if he grabs his victory, he ends it. Big Ups knows that if he grabs his victory, he gives himself one more opportunity to make a grand comeback. And uh, 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 look, Big Ups has all the, the motivation now. He's got all the the momentum behind them because you, you, you are down 2-0 and you've been able to equalize. Surely the momentum is with you, but that is what makes great players. And I'm looking for that trait in Cubs. Will Cubs be able to channel his inner greatness to kind of get him over this hump? Because you're in a very difficult situation where you are up to conceded two goals in a flash and you have to pick yourself up and pick yourself up uh, really, really well. That is what separates a pro player from a casual player because it was a casual player who was down it was up to uh considered two quick goals like that well the mentality might just go away uh, and cause being a pro player who surely wants to prove that he is the one of the best in the country and just like that he regains his lead outside of a foot shot from Ronaldinho. i was just speaking of mentality and the rookie sportsman has just shown me that he's got a strong one that is more like it from Cubs. Big Ups caught him sleeping a few minutes ago, able to get his two goals. While Cubs said, scratch that, I'm still in the game. And I'm back with my lead. Excellent finish. Ronaldinho outside of the foot shot, giving Schmeichel no chance of getting there. And a routine sportsman regaining his lead. And he's got about 20 minutes to hold on to the lead. And, uh, of course, close the series out. Fifteen minutes ago, fifteen very crucial minutes ago, and it's so crucial that I love the pressure, I love the energy with which it brings. We've seen that change again from course bringing Marquinhos. We saw how crucial he was in I think game two, where uh, he kind of made uh, an incredible tackle where Big House was looking to to to, to equalize at the final minutes. 
almost 10 minutes to go now. Cubs and that huge pressure from Vega. Definitely, we're seeing some constant pressure on some uh, pressure and heavy touch on. We'll see what he does there. But sometimes you are liable to open up your defense because you want to put a lot of bodies on offense. And uh, Cubs can also capitalize from that. That is the dynamic of the game, that is the reality of the game. And uh, both players will be looking to capitalize on each other's frailties. Walker finds Ronaldinho, who's got space to work with down the left for big ups. 10. Assessing the options, which he has been doing so well all game, but the other present Rangers won that game able to get an incredible block hit. Cops on the counter, finding your savior, exchanging the passes so well. As quick as you'd like them. Hakimi comes. Surely now he grabs the goal, he ends it. But a heavy touch from Hakimi means goalkeeper can come and claim comfortably. And Big Ups has got five minutes to save the series. What I'll do you? Very good. The ball was scooped to get away from Van Dyke. Dan Muller finds Rashford well. The super sub looking to do super things once again. That is why he's the best defender in the game. Very good, Van Dyke. My well, what a tackle from Cubs. A tackle which could surely seal the victory. Big ups. A minute to go now. Plans out of time, of course. Rashford, brilliant touch. Final minute to go. Rashford gets the cross in. No. Van Dyke with the most crucial header. Chance no goal from behind. Ronaldinho with a hard breaking shot. Which could have surely sealed the game. We are not done yet. Messi, final chance of the game. It has to be perfect. It has to be absolutely perfect. And it wasn't from Big Ups as we sealed the whole thing. Incredible roller coaster. Wow. Before we even break down what just went down, the caller lines are open. The call lines are open, sorry. Uh, if you want to have a chat about what we've just seen, kindly call uh, the number pinned in the chat. And then we'll have a, a conversation about this. We need to speak about this. What a game. What a game. The number to call again. 050 70 665 50 70 665 uh, We've got uh, a caller in for this game as we, as we end the, the whole series. Great game. And in every regard maybe not in the defensive perspective maybe a kind of defensive kind of guy maybe you not like what you saw because of because loads of goals were scored in the series but from the offensive standpoint it was incredible to watch from the the, the quick transitions in which they made sometimes you could see big ups going into attacks and he doesn't even let cops settle pass the ball so quickly you do not make him settle and for cops he could also do that for himself but my super star my favorite player probably van dyke and marquinhos marquinhos anytime he came into the game for cops it was just absolutely brilliant and he brought the energy he brought the energy that we wanted and i absolutely totally enjoyed this one from minute one what a game i'm reading some of the comments as a we give you the chance to call in and then we end this one. What a game it has been. Uh, I've already said big up. So the way Kalu Sha, it will be you train up. Hey, Charlie. Kalu is so well. <laughs> game analyst also asking for the scores. Well, game analyst, the scores is three games to one against uh, big ups as we end. Well, I'm here. We've got a caller. Yeah, hello. Yeah hello. Yeah hello. Yeah hello. Good evening. Yeah, Hi, what's up? Yeah, Charlie Adeo. I beg, I beg your, your name and where you're calling from. Omila, Omila, Omila. Omila again, Charlie. Uh, thanks for calling again. Pleasure to have you back, Charlie. You predicted rightly that Cubs will take the victory. What do you think he had over Vegas? Oh, um, um, I don't know, but then I feel like um, Cubs always had the upper hand from the beginning of the game, so I'm not really surprised he actually won. Mm, no surprise there. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have, yeah, have you yeah. faced Cubs yourself? 
Oh yeah, I've played both of them before, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so you facing yeah. them, you kind of feel like you knew both of them, and that is why oh, you went for cops. As for as for twenty three, um, the guys had the upper hand. Twenty three, the guys was tougher, but then with the twenty four, the course is tougher than them big guys. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I I, yeah. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. Do you have a question for me, or oh, I can still keep going on asking you questions? Yeah, I want to know when I'm playing your your other guy there again. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the fans in the chat who don't understand what Mela just said, I, I I don't play my account alone. My brother also plays. You met Mela in weekend league, and Mela kind of won that game. I'll be coming for revenge, Mela. Don't worry, but Mela, before before we leave you, is there any battle that you want to see on Ultimate Battle this year? We can make it happen. Oh, I want to see myself play Guy, guy Kobe. Yeah. Wow. Make up some stone. Um, Mela has thrown himself out there. Guy Kobe, if you are listening to Mela, well, he says he's up for the challenge. We'll speak to Guy Kobe and see if he's also up for the challenge. But uh, thank you, Mela, for calling again. Uh, it was a pleasure to speak to you. And that is how we will end today's session on Ultimate Battle, the season opener. And a befitting season opener at that incredible game. Cubs starting off strong, winning the first two games. Big Ups coming back to win the third game. And then the fourth and final game. Grandma seeds everywhere. And it was the Roots Esportsman who held on to take the victory. And that is how we sign off with this one. You know, with the way we started, we'll be continuing in the same suit. Next week, same time, there'll be another big battle. Make sure you're following us on all of our social media handles on Instagram on Twitter at Ultimate Battle. Next week, same time, we will be here. My name is Slimo. I did the hosting and casting duties. Next week, I will be here as well. So you want to make sure to post out on post notification so when we go live, you are notified about it. Stay safe out there. we we'll see you next week. Oh, <laughs>